I'm embarking on a new series of paintings. Well, not new exactly, maybe revisited is the better word. I'm starting on this project to summarise everything that my work at my time outdoors is all about. Hello and welcome, and if you're new to this channel, an extra welcome to you. My name is Orla Stevens, and I'm an abstract artist, illustrator and designer based at the start of the Scottish Highlands. I create relaxing videos which explore my two loves, which are my painting practice and nature in the outdoors. I hope these videos offer you some inspiration to get outdoors yourself and maybe even encourage you to start drawing outdoors as a way to deepen your connection to your surrounding environments. The last time I worked on this series, I was feeling a little lost in my creative voice. This personal project really helps me reconnect to what I wanted to make and how I wanted to make it. If you're an artist yourself, I hope this video serves as some inspiration to reignite your own practice if you're feeling stuck. And if you're here for the nature, I hope it encourages you to take some slow time outdoors to relax and explore nature up close. So let's start at the beginning. What is this series of work for and how did it come to be? Well, it all started with my love of research. I'm interested in so many things as an artist and as a person. My work at its core is about nature and landscape and our experiences and connections to these places. But within this subject, there's a whole wealth of inspiration and interests to inform a painting and it can get overwhelming at times. Finding Nature is a series I started at the beginning of 2023. I began it to generate new ideas within my work and explore how I could reignite my own practice for the new year. I wanted the work to be a summary of my interests and a free space to experiment and draw threads between the many interests and ideas I had in my head. My idea was to make 50 paintings on paper. Through repetition of this large series, I figured I'd be able to see patterns in my work themes and motifs, feelings, colours and moods that I could take forward into larger pieces. Within this topic and umbrella of nature and landscape, I'm interested in ecology, geology, psychogeography, how and why we connect to places and how these places shape the way we think and feel. I'm interested in the human history tied to these places and I'm fascinated by the sounds within landscapes and the folklore tied to the locations. At the moment I'm reading about the development of creativity and the first paintings humans made as symbols in cave paintings. It is so easy to get pulled in a million different directions and it's easy to want every painting to say and explore everything that you're interested in. The rules I set for myself in the first Finding Nature series were as follows. Every painting had to be A5 on paper. I taped the edges to frame the works. Every painting had to start with either a word or a phrase that I attribute to a memory of an adventure outside and would be written as its title below the painting once finished. These words ended up being snippets of conversations had with friends, a reoccurring word that I thought of on a walk, or a sentence that summarised a trip. From these words, I'd think of the mood and translate that through colours, shapes, scenes, textures and so on, letting the words guide the mood and composition of a painting. I really wanted to find ways to access abstraction, so I figured remove the visual reference, hence the words. I've decided to revisit this project to see what new patterns emerge in my painting. I suppose you could call it Finding Nature 2.0. Maybe I'll even push for 100 paintings this time. They're really just so fun to make. This time around, I'm going to be less strict about words as a starting point. I love the format of including the title under the final work, so that will stay. I find it to be a really nice way to connect people to the story behind the painting. My focus for this series is to hone in on one of the main reasons I love being outside and working as an artist, and that is the feeling of exploration, discovery, play and possibility. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I love looking for the details in nature. 
getting up close at funny angles and pushing myself to see more in my environment, much like you see little kids doing. I then take these details and textures and enlarge them through drawing, playing with scale, pulling all that feeling of exploration into the painting process itself. I also love exploring these textures abstractly working from memory, hopping back to moments outside, like the snippets I'm showing in this video, and drawing what I remember seeing in my mind. I'll document this series as it progresses and share the process in a following video, so subscribe if you'd like to watch the series of paintings grow. The paintings will be for sale once the series is complete through my website at www.orlastevens.com and you can sign up for early access to these through my newsletter and I'll pop a link to that down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you outside.